Alright, welcome to the hangar. Today we're going to be talking about and looking at some aircraft batteries. Um, the one we're really going to be focusing on is going to be our Earth X lithium ion battery, which we've just received, and uh, we're going to open up in a moment. Uh, in front of me, I also have an Odyssey PC680, which is very common and very popular, very good aircraft battery, uh, especially in the experimental uh, amateur built aircraft world. And I've got an older um, Concord. Uh, battery here as well, RG25XC, and I've got a gill, a big one, the uh, 7035-28. So these are your more traditional aircraft batteries you will find in a lot of certified aircraft. Um, really exceptional batteries in terms of capacity and, and, and lasting. Quite expensive and heavy. You can see I've written some weights down here. We've got 30 pounds here for the large gill. Uh, we've got about 24 23 and a half for the smaller uh, Concord. The big Concord is, depending on what model you buy, I believe up to 32 pounds in weight. Uh, especially the Concords, they're definitely a, a preferred one of mine. I've had a lot of really excellent success with those and them lasting, you know, easily 10 years plus, uh, even when the aircraft's used very regularly. The big thing with these is making sure you don't get them flat. Um, you know, by not flying the airplane, but having a clock or something like that, draining them right down. Any time that you completely drain a battery is really tough on it, especially if you then, you know, jump start the aircraft, put a huge load on it, that damages uh, the internals and, and really reduces your capacity. So we're not going to talk too much about these two today. Uh, we're going to look more at, as I said, the, um, the uh, PC680 and the uh, Earth X battery. Um, the PC680 uh, this one is out of the Acroduster behind me here. It is a slightly older battery now. It's about eight years old. It's just been fully reconditioned uh, with a special charger. It load tests very well. Um, really, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And it, it's a really excellent battery. The reason I bought the Earth X, though, is I have the 200 horse fuel injected Lycoming in the aircraft, and I've got a Cato aerobatic three blade prop, which is very light. I'm finding that this battery just doesn't quite have enough oomph to keep turning the engine over. You'll get through a couple of compression strokes and you'll have drained a bit of charge out of the battery and then it'll get stuck on the next one. So a little hard starting and I think the EarthX is going to help me with that. Some of the differences between them, basically this is an AGM battery, so that's an absorbent glass mat. The EarthX is a lithium battery. Um, we've got weight difference between them. Uh, we've got about 15 pounds, 15 and a half pounds for the PC680, 4.1 for the EarthX battery. Cold cranking amps are rated at 170 as opposed to 320, so that's, that's the big difference there. That's why I've chosen this one. Uh, they also rate them for what they call a peak, uh, sorry, a pulse hot cranking amps, and we get 520 of those out of the um, uh, out of the Odyssey. We get 680 out of the EarthX. So again, this is why I've selected the battery, hoping it's going to give me a, a better start on the aircraft. Now. We have a longer battery capacity, a 16 amp hour battery compared to a 12.4 amp hour battery. So in the event of an electrical system failure, this one is going to last longer than, than this one here. Dimension wise, they're very, very similar. Um, other considerations we have with this are obviously, uh, it's a little more sensitive to temperature. So we uh, need to keep it in an area where it's gonna be below 75 uh, degrees Celsius. 85 is kind of its peak uh, temperature that it can be exposed to. Um, because this is an absorbent glass mat, it can be mounted in any, any orientation and direction, and that goes the same for, for the lithium battery here. Both of these companies are also now starting to get into certified aircraft batteries. Uh, there's a version of this called the SBS J16, it's FAA PMA approved. There's a few aircraft that you can get STCs for to install it, including the Piper Super Cubs, PA-18s, PA-22s, and Cessna 172s. There's a ETX 900 version of the battery here, and they've currently got an STC for the Cessna 182Ps, I believe, and they are intending to expand on that and increase their AML uh, listing. So that could be very interesting moving ahead. Um, 
a lot of interesting stuff in here with uh, what they call BMS, battery management system, to protect the uh, battery from over voltage, overcharging, over discharging, uh, short circuit protection, and things like that. There's a lot more risk for things like thermal runaway and other items with a lithium battery. They don't behave the same way as an AGM or an acid battery does. Um, as temperature increases, uh, resistance would build in these, whereas it decreases in these, which allows for further current flow, and, and that's how you get the nasty runaway. And I believe Boeing had a few problems with that in their Dreamliner aircraft. Um, cost is obviously an issue as well. We've got $220 uh, roughly for this one as opposed to about $520. So you're definitely going to pay for the extra power and the weight savings. But the weight savings are the big one. Again, especially for myself with a, an aerobatic aircraft, I'm, I'm quite happy to shed 11 pounds out of the airframe and, uh, and get a little more performance, I hope, from not only the aircraft but also in the starting. So let's open it up and have a look. Okay, it is bizarrely light. <laughs> I mean, that really is, that really is amazing. Very lightweight indeed. Uh, you can see the similar dimensions there between the two units. Um, so this is actually going to fit without any modification there. Wow, that is, that is very impressive. Definitely want to have a read through the manual. There is a, uh, a, a fault indicator light that you can set up and, um, and this will flash to give you different codes. Uh, you can go to their website to get their uh, manual so you can read all about it and mounting restrictions in terms of temperature and other things that you would like to uh, sort of be cautious of when, when installing the battery here. So we're quite excited to stick this in. We have some footage, obviously, of starting the aircraft with the Odyssey battery, so we'll do a little bit of comparison and see how it goes for um, an improved start with the new lightweight and quite powerful battery here from EarthX. Very excited for that. that the PC680 won't keep cranking. I've got to let off the key and then hit it the starter again to get it to finally fire. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you do, please remember to subscribe and like. Get out there and get lots of flying done, and we'll talk to you all soon. Stay safe, everyone.